With so many items to collect, through mining, smelting, chopping, and refining, how about we add one more to the list with crafting? That's right, today we're going to be going over how to autocraft items both using the assembler and the automated engineer's workbench. Starting off with the assembler, we are going to need six different materials. This is going to be the iron sheet metal slab, the iron sheet metal itself, light engineering blocks, steel scaffolding, conveyor belts, and redstone engineering blocks. In order to create the assembler, you just need to make a little 3x3 three three structure just like this out of the given resources. Of course, use your projector in order to figure out how to do that. And then you need to right click, shift right click on one of these conveyor belts. Now, something to note when building this, your conveyor belts must be facing the exact same direction. From that, the moment we are going from left to right and you have to right click on your input and that will become your input as you see here. If we were to break this down here and then switch these around you can actually change the direction to be the other way it's always going to be the input side you need to right click it on looking at the assembler now there is a couple of things to note on the front here on your input there are actually two inputs one is for fluids which is what this little hole is here and one is for items where you can see the little design of the conveyor belt to go in also the blue indication as we know is for inputs on the other side we have orange for outputs but only for actual materials there's no fluid to come out of this on top we have our power supply and that's very very simple and then we have a button on the side where we can switch the machine on or off we can actually do this on both sides now something else to note as well is that with this machine you can right click anywhere on it to open up its gui so looking inside the gui we now have three different crafting areas with three different outputs a internal storage area slash buffer three different fluid tank inputs and our power power is obviously always full because we're doing it with creative power and on the outside we have got three different fluid tanks if we take ourselves a bucket of anything we'll see what's inside these tanks we have lava water and creosote oil and i'm having these being permanently filled up through mechanism tanks just because we need it to be creative now this is why you are going to want to only use immersive engineering pipes with the assembler as we know that with other mods such as mechanism you can't have the same fluid in the same pipe but in this case what we, we can have three different fluids going into the one output that is the way we have all of our fluids in here at the same time so let's go over fluids first if we take our regular planks and our bucket of creosote oil here we can see that we know how to make this into treated wood planks at the moment it's not doing anything because we don't have any inputs all of these are essentially ghost icons inside but it shows us that the craft is working now instead of having us to pipe in loads of these buckets of creosote which we can still do we can use it to this creosote oil over here that way we're just going to need our simple ghost structure here and then it will start working so if i now start putting some inputs into here you can see that it starts crafting and some of the creosote oil is being used luckily it's being piped in continuously and then on the back here we can see that the creosote oil is being used although we've run out of planks there we go and we can see the creosote oil is constantly being used and giving us planks now so now let's start piping in some planks so we have a constant feed here let's just fill up this chest with a load of planks so inside of here, we have got treated wood being constantly made. But what if we want to make this a little bit further down? How about we try and make some sticks? You can see now there's a little bit of a pause, but now we have sticks coming out. It's using the previous tier to go into the next. And that is because we have this button clicked here. It's using recursive ingredients to go to the next craft. Now, this is where things get a little bit confusing. But before we get to that, let's make one more step. How about we make ourselves some fences as well? So let's fill this up a little bit more so it doesn't run out of resources because we're actually using more resources than we can pipe in. But as you can see, we have got ourselves our fences coming out of here and it's not using anything else. But what if we want to make a supply of all of these as well? Well, you can wait until these go all the way up to being fully inside. But unfortunately, that doesn't actually work. Even when it's fully inside of here, it won't start piping out the next things. As you can see here, it just sort of pauses and then continues. Now you would think when you click this button here, it would start outputting each of these individual items, but you would be wrong. So now this is where things get a little bit confusing. If you wanted to actually get all of your different items coming out at once, this means you need to have the non-recursive ingredient selected, but you actually need to change the order of your different crafts. You actually want to go from right, then back to the beginning, and then forward. 
very confusing and I don't know why it's like this but this seems to be the case. So let's do our creosote oil and that's obviously starting to do our treated wood planks. But now if you wanted to have sticks as well like we do over here and then we go recursive and then non-recursive again you can see that we have sticks and treated wood planks coming. And then how about we take this one step further again by making ourselves these fences. You can see again it's not doing it from the start but then if we actually give this enough ingredients again because it's running out very very quickly go recursive meaning it's just going to go up to the fences because it's doing one then two then three but then if we go to non-recursive again it's going to be going to try and do all of the things at once now it is struggling a little bit because we don't actually have enough creosote oil in here so it's sort of panicking a bit so how about we slap a lever on this for a second slapping a lever on there and turning it off means the machine is now off and let's give our creosote oil a little bit of a break now it's filled up let's turn it on again and let's see here we've actually filled up the chest already but it is doing all the different crafts as you can see there the sticks are in there just a little bit i think maybe not but as you can see it's doing multiple crafts and not just giving us the end result i believe the reason it's not giving us the sticks is because obviously it's filling up our, its internal buffer first and then uh, it's just not piping out the rest but now that is essentially how everything works inside the assembler if you just want one output after three different crafts then just go from left to right but if you want to have some of all the items then you want to go from right then left then middle very strange why it's like this but that just seems to be the case and then you have to toggle between the non-recursive and the recursive non-recursive means it's going to be using all of the different crafts and then recursive means it's just going to go for the end result so i've just tried for fun to see if this would change anything i've gone complete right to left now so sticks are in the middle and fences are on the left and what i've got here is when it's on recursive just the fences are going but when it's non-recursive it's now doing the sticks and the planks but not the fences it seems that whenever you have non-recursive on it just doesn't want to do the first craft so uh maybe it's better to go from complete right to left if you want the later two items but if you want the end result then you want to have it on recursive hopefully that isn't as confusing as it sounded to me but now let's move on to the engineer's workbench the automated engineer's workbench is going to be using light engineering blocks heavy engineering blocks steel scaffolding treated wood slabs redstone engineering blocks and conveyor belts once again to craft you are going to need to make a three by two structure just like this and it's very confusing and all of these conveyor belts must be placed in this specific order sort of a zigzag type of shape then with your engineer's hammer you want to right click on this treated wood slab right here to turn it into our crafting table now the way the engineer's workbench works is that we have got two inputs on this barrel looking thing here we've got two we're just looking up with the hopper and then on top we have our power supply here as well as that we can place another lever on the front to turn this off or on now the engineer's workbench works with any blueprint just like the regular workbench but now we're going to demonstrate this using the common projectiles blueprint now we know that to make the buckshot cartridge we're going to need one gunpowder one empty shell and two steel grit with our common projectiles cartridge in our blueprint sorry in order to make our buckshot so this is how we know this works so inside of here we want a very similar thing now these sort of bits here i don't know what they're about they seem to be some sort of visual bug with my pack but you probably won't have this but inside of here we've got our empty shells of course our steel grit and some gunpowder which is very good we also have our common projectiles down here now you can put any blueprint you want inside this square here and it will come up with all your different items that you can make with that blueprint however it doesn't tell you internally what you actually need for each craft so you're going to need to know that ahead of time so you're probably going to want one of these nearby but once it's set up you can leave it to go so in order to actually get this to start of work you can only do one item at a time we know that we can make these shell cartridges but if we want to click on one of these we can see we have a visual representation of what we're crafting here but obviously nothing's happened because we don't have the right ingredients now again as i say you can only make one item at a time so if you click this it deselects the previous one so we can't make any of these three at the same time or because we have the resources so when we put our cartridges that we want we see the items have ticked down and now we have a little animation it's going to come out in sort of piles it's going to be drilled first and then pressed and then it comes out the side now this is only making one at a time as if you would with a regular craft it's a bit slow of a process as it requires animation unlike the assembler the assembler just does its thing and pops the thing out so this is a longer 
process, but it is just as effective. And now we see that we have these going into a chest and we've got more things for our revolver. Now, just to quickly demonstrate what it looks like with every single one, here we've got our banners. It's a little bit annoying because you can't actually see what each banner type is. So you are going to need another workbench to have a look inside of those. Then obviously we have our crafting components, which we know about. We have our electrodes, which you showed off in the previous tutorial. Then we've got our presses from way back when. Then we've got our different specialized cartridges, which work pretty similarly. Again, you can only click the one at a time. So you might need multiple of these machines if you want to make loads of things. And then lastly, we have the common projectiles again. Yes, that is everything when it comes to automatically crafting inside of immersive engineering. If you did enjoy them, please give me a like and subscribe. It will really help me out. And ring the bell button to stay notified when the next tutorial goes live, which is going to be all about oil. It's time to get into a little bit of immersive petroleum. But if you want to know how to use more of these cartridges, then click the revolver video on screen now, as that is a little bit of an overpowered rifle. But until next time, guys, take care.